Hello, good afternoon, guys. Welcome to MK Convenience Brokerage. My name is Mohammed. Uh, in this video, uh, this is going to be the part three of the studying for the firefighter test in New York City. Now, uh, for those of you that are planning to become firefighters in New York City, keep this in mind. This test is given every four years. So, if you're going to take the firefighter test, better be prepared than being sorry. So, a lot of firefighters, they will give you a practice tutorials that you could actually come to one of their sites, whichever is located. Uh, it could be a school, it could be the main FDNY headquarters. You go there and you take the firefighter test. And from there, you know, like they give you a practice test, should I say. And from there, once you pass a practice test, uh, you know, they give you a booklet to study, practice and everything. The, you know, it, it helps a lot, especially if you're going to be taking the real firefighter test. So keep that in mind. So this is basically one of the practice booklets that they gave me. And I'm actually going to be helping you as well to, you know, help you understand uh, what they, what type of questions they'll be asking and everything. So these are the additional websites you could use for helping you out, yourself out for reading comprehension for math website for future. They could also help you out. There's also YouTube videos as well. You can see, uh, you know, like what, uh, what they offer and especially helping you out during the test. So these are suggestive test taking tips. Uh, you know, you can do the online tutorials at nyc.gov, DCAS. Uh, you could review the firefighter t tutorial. You can, um, you know, just eat a light meat before you go go take the test. Uh, get a good, good night, uh, hour of sleep. No direction to the test set in advance, obviously. Common sense, do not bring any material with you, you know, just a session for an admission card and your driving license uh, because they will either tell you to put it away or turn it off or put it in a special container. Uh, be sure to read all the instructions what they give you carefully. Uh, just be on the lookout for questions that might have more than one answer. That's one of the very important tricks. Uh, each section is timed, so pay close attention. The timing will left in each question. If you have any extra time left uh, after finishing a section, go back and check the answers just in case. Uh, make sure you utilize your scrap paper and make sure you don't don't worry uh, about any other things. You know, just worry about the test. Concentrate on that. Don't think of anything else. Just the test. That will help you out as well. These are again suggested note-taking tips. Uh, obviously, you can read this on your own. Uh, make sure you pay close attention to questions. Uh, I've actually took this test before, and you know they do target a lot of uh, more than one answer type of questions. And if you read it once, uh, you will regret it. It are better to read the questions uh, just one, two, three times than read the passage. You could uh, get the gist what the question is really asking about. So uh, with this, this is basically they'll they'll give you a booklet when you take the firefighter test. That booklet will have something similar like this. And it's like a test taking strategy. So you'll, you'll video like these, they will give you uh, like three times to replay the video. So these are important note taking tips. I mean, this will test you how well a good of a note taker you are. So the better note takes you do, the better the answers will come to you because you will watch the video three times. Once after the third time, you will not be able to play it. You will click next on the computer screen. And when you click next, you will be actually be doing uh, the multiple choice questions regarding the video so keep that in mind so make sure they will make the note taking tip make sure you're a good note taker and uh, jot down important information so that will help you out in the long run same thing again they, this was another video so they will like for example this was uh, CPR uh, check call care the question might ask you what is the first step and obviously if you take notes you will know that the first step is check and these such and such this has how the questions will be regarding on the videos that they do your test taking notes will be the first thing that will come in hell handy so keep that in mind so these are some of the samples um, obviously then these are the questions like for example what does the abbreviated CPR stand for cardiopulmonary recitation from the video then what function performing CPR do for the body pumps oxygen rich blood into the he head and brain uh, heart and brain I should say what are the three steps referred in the video check call care what are right so these are the questions right after the video they will come you cannot go back to the video once you're in the question site so wh whatever you do so far that's gonna be the, the the part of it again these are the questions that they ask you after the video so keep that in mind you cannot go back once you're in the in the question part so may, the no taking tips that you have on your piece of paper that will be the one that you could refer to again questions more questions about the same exact thing about the video so these how these are some of the samples I just wanted to show to you uh, obviously uh, these are the last samples that I could show to you so obviously we're delivering chest compression so this is how the test is going to be they're going to be putting a video after the video you're going to be answering questions and that's one part then there's some certain passages as well there will be passages in the video 
uh, you know, like you read the passage and then you answer the question on the left hand side of the screen. So basically, that's how the firefighter test is commemorated. And then, and then you're going to be having a psychological section as well. They might give you 86 questions with psychological to see if you're a psychological fit to be a firefighter. So basically, that's, that's how the test will go through. Uh, it's a four-hour test, so keep that in mind. Obviously, that will play an important part. Uh, with that said, guys, thank you again, guys, for watching this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any other questions, comment, concern, please comment, like, subscribe. I'll try my best to help you guys out as much as possible. Thank you again guys for watching this video and if you guys have any questions at all, please comment below and I'll try my best to help you guys out as fast as possible. Thank you.